Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, April 3rd, 2022. I'm on the uh, ladder, on a ladder, on the roof of my uh, Forest River R-Pod 179 2015 model. And I'm scraping off the roof lap sealant along the edge here. I did the, or I'm halfway done with the section where the spoiler is. And so uh, today I'm going to put some new lap sealant down. The last couple of weeks I spent doing the sides of the camper with the other type of sealant, sealing all the joints and the edges. Um, I'll show you some of that later on when I get down from the ladder. But right now I am uh, scraping this roof sealant along the edge here. I've got to do the other side as well. I'm going to do the TV antenna, the vent, and also the... Uh, the air vent on the other side. I don't know if you can see it, that air vent there. I'm gonna see how that's, that comes off and try to get it all done today. Um, so uh, I'll be back with some more video. So I'm just using this um, plastic scraper and also this, if you're real careful with this along the edge here, um, and you go nice and easy, it's coming right up with this. Then I fine tune it with that one and then I just wipe it with some soapy water, let it dry. And then I'll come back and I'll put the uh, lap sealant and I'll show you what that uh, consists of. All right, guys, this is the um, ProFlex RV is what I used on the sides, you know, all around the edges here on the sides, the slide out. Um, I started out with white and then I switched to clear. This is the white here. And then um, I didn't like the white, so I switched to the clear the following week. And I did the clear, so uh, that's the clear. One of the keys to uh, doing the sides that I found was number one, wear a rubber glove so you could um, continue wiping excess with your finger, your fingers, and then just change gloves frequently. Uh, that's one way that I found. Also, get a good gun that doesn't do over. You know, when you stop pumping, it doesn't spray out the product from here. This newborn gun, I think, was like 10 or 12 bucks. So it, it, it pays to invest in that. And then, of course, the, the GeoCell ProFlex RV is what most people recommend for that, for this um, application, you know, along the bottom, all along your edges and seams, uh, around the lights. And then here, around the light, you can see. And then this side, I think I have the clear. Down here, you can see the clear. I don't know if you can see it good in the video, but that's clear right here. So this side of the camper I did but clear. And the clear is a little bit more forgiving, I think, too. If you go over a little bit, it doesn't matter. But you can see I did this with the glove on my finger, and um, it worked out good. Also, another tip. Do not cut this when you're doing this product. Make this cut very thin, like this one here. Because you don't want an over excess amount coming out. Now this is what I'm using for the roof. This is the Dicor uh, lap sealant self-leveling. It's a different product uh, that you have to use on the roof and all areas on the roof. So this I'm using today. Never used it before, but it's self-leveling. So when you put it on, it, it'll it'll flatten out over time. So we'll see how that. I'll 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 do a video of me putting it on and see how it goes. I'm not a big expert on applying this stuff, but uh, my camper definitely needs it especially on the roof i haven't had any leaks yet that i know about um and i've had this camper since 2016 and i haven't done anything to the roof which is a boo-boo on me so uh it's been a miracle that i haven't had any leaks up on the roof uh, or anywhere inside the camper that i know of so then uh next week when i get this done i'll take this out i'm gonna detail clean it and take it out and I gotta grease the bearings and the wheels which I haven't done yet either um, so I'm gonna do that that'll be another video but um, you know when you have these things it's uh, it's definitely um, I replaced some of this trim I didn't do a video on it but I replaced the trim around the pull out here because it was coming out uh, and I 
had an experience buying too thin of a trim i had to buy a more heavy duty version on amazon i'll put the link to that one in the, in the description box and um so that was another project that i did as well the roof trim is still in good condition so i'm not going to worry about that so let's get to, i'm going to finish scraping the roof and then apply some of this lap sealant okay be back all right guys this is the um proflex rv is what i used on the sides you know all around the edges here on the sides the slide out um, i started out with white and then i switched to clear this is the white here and then um i didn't like the white so i switched to the clear the following week and i did the clear so uh, that's the clear one of the keys to uh doing the sides that i found was number one wear a rubber glove so you could um continue wiping excess with your finger your fingers and then just change gloves frequently uh, that's one way that i found also get a good gun that doesn't do over you know when you stop pumping it doesn't spray out the product from here this newborn gun i think was like 10 or 12 bucks so it, it it pays to invest in that and then of course the the geo cell pro flex rv is what most people recommend for that for this um application you know along the bottom all along your edges and seams uh around the lights and then here around the light you can see and then this side i think i have the clear and down here you can see the clear i don't know if you can see it good in the video but that's clear right here so this side of the camper i did but clear and the clear is a little bit more forgiving i think too if you go over a little bit it doesn't matter but you can see i did this with the glove on my finger and um it worked out good also another tip do not cut this when you're doing this product make this cut very thin like this one here because you don't want an over excess amount coming out now this is what i'm using for the roof this is the dicor uh, lap sealant self-leveling it's a different product uh, that you have to use on the roof and all areas on the roof so this i'm using today never used it before but it's self-leveling so when you put it on it, it'll it'll flatten out over time so we'll see how that I'll, I'll i'll do a video of me putting it on and see how it goes i'm not a big expert on applying this stuff but uh, my camper definitely needs it especially on the roof i haven't had any leaks yet that i know about um and i've had this camper since 2016 and I haven't done anything to the roof, which is a boo-boo on me. So uh, it's been a miracle that I haven't had any leaks up on the roof uh, or anywhere inside the camper that I know of. So then uh, next week when I get this done, I'll take this out. I'm gonna detail clean it and, and take it out. And I gotta grease the bearings and the wheels, which I haven't done yet either. Um, so I'm gonna do that. That'll be another video. But, um, you know, when you have these things, it's, uh, it's definitely, um, I replaced some of this trim. I didn't do a video on it, but I replaced the trim around the pullout here because it was coming out. Uh, and I had an experience buying too thin of a trim. I had to buy a more heavy duty version on Amazon. I'll put the link to that one in the, in the description box. And um, so that was another project that i did as well the roof trim is still in good condition so i'm not going to worry about that so let's get to, i'm going to finish scraping the roof and then apply some of this lap sealant okay be back i want to try to give you guys a little glimpse and film this with one hand how this is coming off so i use the metal scraper here obviously if you're careful with it and it's coming off easy i'm not scratching the roof at all okay so that's coming up Again, when you're on a ladder, you got to be careful. Um, so you can see how that's peeling right up. And then I'll come through with the um, plastic one. And I'll, I'll get the edge better. When it's nice and clean, I'll wipe it with the rag. Make sure I get any of that excess here off. And then I got the, the, the Dawn with soapy water and I'm just washing it down, letting it dry. And so the roof stops here 
at least on mine did and then the um the other product took over so i don't know if i should go all the way down or not but i'm gonna stop right here with this with the lap sealant and see what happens and get some ideas from youtube where the where the roof starts um rounding they stopped the lap sealant right here they did it on the other side as well i don't know if you could see that but um anyway we'll be back all right guys so i used two tubes of the dicor sealant and i was able to get this back spoiler done as you can see eventually i think i'm going to put um some two inch Eternabond tape along that seam on the spoiler. So next week or so I'll do that. So that's completed and I also was able to get down both sides of the camper, the edges, and then on the other side, same thing, did the edge. And then I just went around, I didn't scrape up the skylight or the vents with the TV antenna on the other side. I just put some, some sealant over it, some of the lap sealant over it. It was still look pretty good. So I have two more tubes left. If I have to scrape that up eventually and do it, I will. But the, my main thing was the edge of the roof and the spoiler. That was the main thing that needed done. And so I got that completed today. Again, two tubes of that on the 17 foot Forest River R Pod 179. So if you have one and you want to do the exact same thing, you know, two two tubes, three tubes to play it safe. Uh, I bought four because I thought I had to do around the others also. If I had to do around the other vents, I'd probably need the other two tubes and then some because there's a lot of sealant around those. But um, at any rate, that's my project for today, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts or comments. But this stuff is uh, self-leveling. As you can see, it levels out and kind of flattens out. Here I went over the screw heads a little. But I'm going to put the tape, two-inch tape, there eventually. So that's all going to be covered. On that back piece here. And then I caulk under the spoiler. So I'm going to take that caulking out. So that could drain the air out. Uh, I think it said don't clog the bottom of the spoiler. So I'll do that before I leave today. And, uh, take care of that. So that's the video today, guys. Uh, again, let me know what you think. Um, Anthony signing off. Take care. Stay ready.